The new series, The Power, takes us to a futuristic world where women can release electrical jolts, jolts from their fingertips. And we get to see how it completely shifts the power dynamics in the world. Take a look. Today we have a story that's going to change the world. This is in Nigeria. Electricity coming out of their hands. All teenage girls. Mom, I know some can, like, aim it. How does yours work? Hey, hey! I'm a journalist. I want to tell your story. It's going to change things. What did you do? The world as we know it may never be the same. No, it will not. And the stars of The Power, Tohib Jamo and Ria Zimitrovich, join me now. Welcome, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. I'm already apologizing for screwing your name up before, but <laughs> I'm hoping I made it up to you. Yeah, it's so good. Um, the show is so good. I started it last night and watched the first two episodes. It is electrifying, which I'm sure you've heard before. <laughs> um, but Ria, the slogan for your character is outcast to outlaw. So tell us about Roxy. So um, she's 17 years old and she is the illegitimate daughter of the gangster Bernie Monk, who's played by Eddie Marzen. And, um, Who I love. Yeah, from Ray Donovan. So, right? From Ray Donovan. Yeah. He's so good. So yeah. good. And he, um, she's desperate to join the family business of organized crime. Yeah. Um, but she, he doesn't let her because mainly because she's a woman and he thinks that she's too emotional to join. Yeah. So um, when she gets her power, her power comes in and the world starts to change. Um, she, he starts to think that she might be a bit more useful. Yeah. And starts to involve her a bit more in the family business. That's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but so he, you play Tundi, and um, how? So how does this newfound power that the women have affect the men in the world? Um, I mean, it throws up a really interesting question, like uh, especially for the younger men in the in the show and in our world of, you know, like what does your masculinity or your manhood look like without one of the main male archetypical traits? Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting journey to kind of like go on with Tunde and and. Um, and figure out with him. Yeah, yeah and it's going to be fun. And, and Rhea, this is based off a best-selling book. Um, and, and it's interesting, some of these women use their power for good, mm -hmm. some for control, some for revenge. Like, what, what drew you to this story and why you wanted to be a part of it? Well, the book was just visionary and incredible. Mm. And I think that it shows that women are just as complex and as complicated as men are and I think that's a really great message to to have out there at the moment I think it's really relevant yeah absolutely and Tohi, we also see kind of this ethical dilemma too with like the government stepping in um, in controlling these women what do you think viewers are going to react to the most uh, with um, this storyline I mean yeah yeah you're completely really right I think the way different governments uh, respond to this new phenomenon is going to be uh, really interesting but also I think like what viewers are going to really enjoy is uh, are the characters you know we have yeah. such an eclectic and diverse range of characters on the show you know whether it's Roxy or Tunde or, or you know Ali like, you know there I feel like a family could sit down and watch this show and by the end of the first or the second episode they'll be rooting for a different character yeah each of them so, so yeah I'm really excited to you're right it is it's such a diverse group and yeah. like an in, everyone is so complex and interesting mm -hmm. so it's a, it's really fun to, uh, to follow all those stories but it's been a great week for you I have to say uh, Ted Lasso is back yeah uh, you guys were at the White House we were what, what is that experience <laughs> like um it was crazy man like it's it's yeah but I think I'm still trying to process it and and figure it out for myself I don't really have the words for it but um yeah it was really it was truly special I think at one point I was just stood there and I was like yeah I'm from Nigeria and Brixton what the hell am I doing at the White House <laughs> yeah. um but yeah we were there nonetheless and, yeah. and it was yeah it was pretty special yeah and you, you play Sam on the show obviously you've said that Sam has a great arc this year I can't wait to watch but are you happy with how the whole season plays out yeah yeah I am it's you know I mean you don't want to say it but like I really think it's going to be a brilliant brilliant season um it, they the creative team have done such a great job with it and um I know you know people had to wait a little bit longer for this one but I think they're going to be happy with what, what they're going to get yeah yeah all right well I can't wait to watch the whole thing uh, I hope it's not the last season but I know you probably can't say anything about that but I'm just going to put it out there because I don't want to get sued that's right I don't want you to either <laughs> well you can catch the power streaming March 31st on Prime Video thank you both for stopping by thank, oh, thank you. you for having us